We're going to solve the differential equation from our YAM problem, which was dt dt equals 0 0.025, the quantity of 200 minus t. And we had an initial condition, which we're going to write up in this notation, t of 0 equals 20. What that's saying is when the time is 0, the initial temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So what we need to do is our separation of variables. We want to move the capital T to the left-hand side. And we want to move the lowercase t to the right hand side. So we're going to move the let's move the capital T with some division. So we're basically going to divide both sides by 200 minus capital T. And that will cancel it out on the right hand side, move it over to the left. We also need to move the little dt, which we're going to do with the multiplication. So multiply both sides by little dt cancels out on the left hand side. So we have dt over 200 minus capital T and that's equal to 0 0.025 dt. So now what we need to do is take the antiderivative of both sides and once we get the variable separated. On the left hand side, the antiderivative, a lot of times I'll see this, natural log of 200 minus capital T, which is really close, but it's actually negative of that, the reason being, because of that negative sign right there. It's essentially a chain rule, so if we were doing the antiderivative, we would use u substitution. On the right hand side, we have a pretty easy integral, 0.025t plus C, which I'm actually going to call C1. And you'll see why here pretty much immediately. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to move my negative sign. So I'm going to multiply both sides by a negative 1. Okay. Now what, what I'm going to do with that is on the left-hand side I now have natural log of the absolute value of 200 minus T over here, I'm going to have negative 0.025t, and I've got a net minus c1, but I'm actually going to write that as plus c2, and what I've basically done is let c2 equal negative c1. Uh, it's called absorbing a constant, because we like our constants to be as simple as possible, so we can always absorb them with... Um, differential equations. Now, we need to get rid of the natural log, so we're going to make both sides exponents of e. On the left hand side that works out really nice as we get 200 minus t. On the right hand side, once again we are going to absorb a constant because that right hand side can be rewritten as excuse me, e to the negative 0.025t times e to the c2. But that guy, that e to the c2, we're going to absorb into another constant. Let's call it a. So a essentially equals, let's get rid of that right, whoops, let's get rid of that right there. A equals that e to the c2. So that's going to be our nice absorbed constant, making this thing just a little bit easier to deal with. And what we get is 200 minus t equals a times e to the minus 0.025t. So, continuing on, let's write where we're, where we're at. 200 minus t. We've done most of the work on the antiderivative. We've got everything simplified. We've got all our constants. And we've got now 200 minus t equal to a nice basic exponential function. So negative 0 0.025 little t. So we, we, this is our general solution to our differential equation. Now we'll probably go ahead and solve this for t, but before we do, let's put in our initial condition which was that when little t is 20 big t has to excuse me little t is 0 
big T has to be 20. You can actually, once you've solved your differential equation, you can plug in your initial condition at any time you find advantageous. You don't have to solve for your output variable first to do so. So sometimes I like putting it in a little bit early and getting rid of that constant. And this is going to be AE to the negative 0 0.025 times 0. That actually is going to work out quite nicely for us because this part here is just e to the 0 and e to the 0 equals 1. So we have 200 minus 20 which is 180 equals A and now we have our solution we have 200 minus T equals 180 E to the negative 0 0.025 T well we're used to seeing our equations solved for T so I'm going to go ahead and first solve for negative t and then we'll finish it off. So subtract 200 off of both sides. We get negative t equals negative 200 plus 180 e to the negative, let's fix that a little, 0 0.025 t. And then multiply through by a negative just to get this equal to a positive t and something we can plot if we would if we would choose to. So t equals 200 minus 180 e to the negative 0 0.025 t. And there is the unique solution to our initial value problem.